it's 2024 and for this year I have a really fun idea to share 500 stitches with you all this year. Well, each video is going to be titled what the stitch will be, do an overhead shot on how to actually do it. But then there's also gonna be videos of the process on how I learned it because I don't know them. So I'll be learning as I go and I'll be teaching as I go. Start with some simple, like really easy to do ones just because they're part of the series. So we're gonna start with a slip knot. However you want to do that. And we are gonna create a foundation chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably okay. Um, and now we want to, on the second chain from your hook, so you see these chain, you have 16 chains right now. The loop on your hook does not count. So the first, the first uh, chain from your hook is this one. The second one is this one. So on the second chain from your hook, you're going to insert you see there's two V's, two V's here. You're gonna insert in the top ones. So I'll show you very slowly. The very first, so second chain from your hook, one, two, into the top loop, you're gonna insert your hook, pull the yarn, and now you have two loops on your hook, and now you pull back through both. So that's single crochet. And we're gonna repeat that all the way back. So you're gonna have lots of opportunity to learn it. So you're gonna push into the top loop, push into the top loop. Now you grab the yarn and pull it through. So you have two loops in your hook. And now you grab the yarn and you pull through both. So do that again on the third one, push the hook through the top, pull. Now you have two loops in your hook, and now you pull the yarn through both. And repeat, continue. So the next one, push through, pull two loops in your hook, grab the yarn, pull through both. Push, pull, two loops in your hook, grab the yarn, pull through both. And this is what a single crochet looks like. I'm gonna repeat this until the end of the row and show you how to begin the next row. This is your very first row. So continue doing the same. All the way to the end, I'm almost done here. So the end of my row, I have one stitch left. The slip knot might be confusing, but this is your slip knot, the very beginning. So you only have, see if I can show you, so you only have one stitch left here. So into this stitch, you're gonna insert the last single crochet, push, pull, two loops in your hook, and now pull through both. Okay, so now this is our first row. To begin every single row moving forward, you're going to chain one. Now flip your work. So now you're working the back of your work. And essentially what you have here, I wanna show you and explain. We have your stitches and the top of your stitches. So these Vs that you're seeing right now, that's the top of your stitches when you see them from above. And then this is when your work is laid flat. We're gonna be working into the top of our stitches, those Vs, into both of them. So I'll show you how to do that. Again, we've already chained one, so now we're just gonna flip our work. The very first stitch is this one here. 
So you're going to insert, when I say both, I'll just show you, I'm gonna put it through. But when you see it from above, you've basically gone under both of the chains, not just one. So that's what you wanna do, you wanna go under both. So you've inserted your hook under both, pull the yarn through, and now you have two loops in your hook, and now you're gonna pull through both. That's another single crochet. And we're gonna repeat all through out. So if we move our work this way, you'll see, you'll see both of the chains here, and you wanna push your hook under both of them. Let me show you, under both of them. Then you wanna pull through, two loops in your hook, pull through both. Same here. Same in the next one, under both. Put my hook under, pull through, two loops in my hook, pull through both. And now you're creating more single crochets. This is a very basic stitch. Pull through, I'm just doing the same thing. Push through under both, pull the yarn through, two loops in your hook, pull through both. And I'm gonna do the same all the way until the end of the row here. You can see what it's looking like. When I was learning, I would rewind to the part at the beginning of the row to, you know, see it slowly again and again until I kind of got it. Um, so feel free to do that. So now I think this is also tough when you're beginning to know when the end of the row is. So here I have two stitches left and I can kind of see them here. This is the second to last. Let's see if I can show you better. You can see it here. So these are my stitches from the previous row. They look like little knots. One, two, three, four. So I have four left here. One, two, three, four. Meaning here I have two left. One, two. So I wanna go through this and this only. So now we are gonna do this here and then the last one might be a little tighter but you have the two loops there so you go under both pull through two loops in your hook grab your yarn pull through both for the last single crochet of this row so there we have it now you want to repeat this exact same process you're going to chain one and single crochet back forth back forth i'm going to do this until i have a square now, in terms of what this stitch is good for, it's the, I think it's the most basic crochet stitch um, and also one of the most useful. So I noticed that this stitch is used widely for a mirugumi, a gurimimi, mimurigugi. I don't know how to say that. I feel like nobody knows how to say that. I don't think even people that made up this word know how to say that. But point is that, that um, those little thingies, like people and animals and little things made out of crochet, a gurimimumi, um, is widely made from literally just single crochets. Um, obviously it's tough because you have to make shapes and stuff. Essentially this stitch is the tightest, like really tight. So it looks very, um, it just looks really appealing when it's like nice and tight and it kind of looks like a fabric rather than a stitch, if that makes any sense. I'll say anytime I've worked with a single crochet, my work is just really like, Nice and tight, very professional. I have a bag that I might actually take a little clip and show you what it looks like. Um, it takes longer to work with single crochet. If you use a taller stitch, you would basically have more surface area faster. But with a single crochet, you're going slower. However, the end product is just really nice. And um, I don't really know what word to use because it's not professional. Everything looks professional. It's just nice and tight and very, um, if someone can think of a word that I can use to describe this, please let me know, like this. Anyway, single crochet is a great stitch to know because you can make so much with it. I have finished the swatch and I don't have four and a half inches 
um yeah but i just i have 499 other videos to go record so this is gonna have to be good enough it's sturdy it's thick small stitches intertwined together this is what the single crochet look, looks like this is gonna be a very very useful stitch to have um and to know and to keep close to your heart i hope you like learning how to make the single crochet there will be literally 499 other videos coming this year that is the challenge it means i'm gonna have to be putting out lots of videos every week um but it's great because i'll just be making this little swatches to learn alongside with you thanks so much for watching arrivederci thanks for watching